It's a particular bit of human vanity to feel as if total solar eclipses are staged for our benefit. They're utterly lovely, wonderfully eerie, and when the sky show begins, the seeding is free. But eclipses are hardly just earthly phenomena. They happen everywhere in the cosmos, literally every second of any day. All an eclipse is, after all, is one cosmic body moving in front of another one. As the Earth orbits the Sun, it's always eclipsing some part of it, as are all of the other planets orbiting all of the other stars. Consider the moment on June 5, 2012, for example, when the planet Venus made a six-hour transit across the face of the Sun. Venus is about the same diameter as Earth, but in this image, captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, it appears no bigger than a dime. The next time Earth and Venus will be in the right position for us to witness another such eclipse won't come until 2117. Even when the transit ended, the spectacle was not over. The spacecraft kept watching as Venus passed the solar disk and moved in front of the sun's corona, the blazing veil of plasma that reaches millions of miles into space. The much more familiar solar eclipse with our moon blocking the light from the sun is always observed from the ground. In 2003, the Earth Observatory satellite watched the Antarctic as an eclipse unfolded capturing the shadow it cast on the ice. The long oval-shaped shadow, which measured more than 300 miles, is similar to the ones that are cast in the northern hemisphere during an August dawn. Not all solar eclipses are total. That's partly because the orbit of the moon is elliptical, and when it's farther away from Earth, the lunar disk appears slightly smaller, too small to cover the solar disk fully. These so-called annular eclipses are still too bright to see with the human eye, but the eye of Japan's Hinode satellite is not human, and it captured a dramatic image of a particularly striking annular eclipse. Perhaps the most spectacular eclipse viewing of all occurred in November of 1969, when the Apollo 12 astronauts were on their way back to Earth after landing on the moon. During their homeward coast, they pointed their 16-millimeter camera out the window and captured a first-ever image of the Earth eclipsing the Sun. The universe might be insensible to its beauty, but at least one known species isn't.